is building the perfect team with the AFC North teams. And basically, you just got to fill out it's all Browns. This is the whole Browns roster. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but I'm going to go down the list of what we're going to have. One quarterback, two running backs, three rod, three wide receivers, two tight ends. And then we're just going to do an O-line, D-line, linebackers, and DBs. Um, so we're going to go around. Who do you prefer to start with? What's easier for you? Me, Don't Matt, matter you? Me. All right, hold on. Let me pull up the thing. Don't matter to me. What do you mean, me, Matt, you? To like, I'm going to say who I had at quarterback. You're going to say who you had. And he's going to oh, say who I thought he we were had. just like collectively agreeing. And then we're going to collectively agree. Oh, okay. You see what I mean? Oh, okay. So yeah, I, didn't, I didn't mean fill it out, but I'll, I'll just roll. And just to make it a little that, different, we're going to do it like a like a snake. So I'll do the quarterback. It'll go to you. And then you start the running back. and It'll go back. Let's ride. Um, First quarterback, two-time MVP, got Lamar. Lamar. Okay. I also have Lamar. Wow. So and I don't think we got a... No, no argument, argument there. there. And then for unless running back one. Unless they're against the Steelers. <laughs> running back one, I have Derrick Henry. Unfortunately, uh, I have to say Derrick Henry as well. Yeah, I didn't want to put him here, but I have Derrick Henry at, at my RB1. Uh, that piece of shit. Um, RB2, you guys, I feel like we're going to have a different one here. Oh, we're definitely going to have a different one. Yeah, because you got Nick. Because that cat ain't ready yet. So now here's the thing. <laughs> From as a player, and you're not including injury or anything like that, of just as a player, Nick Chubb is two, I think. Nick Chubb's one. If you can do the player. Yeah. At this okay. point Over right Derrick now, Henry. healthy, Nick Chubb is one. Um, Derrick Henry's on his way out. And I know he had a good year last year, but like it's getting to the point where... I what? think he's going to be fucking lethal in this offense. Like Nick Chubb, he is making progress. He's I don't not think he's like, going to get a thousand. He's not a hundred percent in training camp or anything yet. I did just put him two just because of what he's done in the past. Like what he's a top two running back in the NFL when he's healthy. So For I sure. have Nick Chubb at two. I was gauging it off of right now. Yep. And I put Najee. I also was gauging it off of right now and have Najee. So, but I would, I already said it on camera. Like, yeah. If, if so how do we want to do this? Do we want to do, go... do, do it off of like right now, like injuries is included from here on out? Yeah, I would say, okay. I would say now injuries, like going into the season, because we're we don't building, know what Nick Chubb's going into our season. We're building a perfect team. Okay. Like this is our team. We're in training camp right now. We can take any player from the AFC North to build our own squad. I am taking Najee over Nick Chubb just because of the injury. Yeah. Only because you don't only because of the injury. You, you really don't know. Don't know. So. I guess Nick Chubb, or not Nick Chubb, Najee's the number two. And then for uh, wide receiver one, Jamar Chase. Uh, yeah, I got Jamar Chase as well. Yeah, I don't think that's a question. I think Jamar's the best receiver in the AFC North. For sure. Um, we got to stop picking fucking Ravens, though. Wide receiver two? <laughs> it's hard. Um, this is actually very difficult. Well, this, I think this guy, ever since he came in the AFC North, he led the AFC North in receiving yards. So I just went Amari Cooper. I think Amari Cooper is the second best receiver in the AFC North, personally. Um, I'll agree to disagree. We took Najee, so you can have Amari at two, but George Pickens is three. That's what I had. I had yeah, like I, have, I have Amari I have at Pickens two. at two, but... Yeah, I mean, you're gonna. It doesn't. They're, it doesn't they're really. Three you're there. not ranking them. Yeah, right, they're, right. those are the three receivers yeah, that we're gonna yeah. want in any. Those room. are your three receivers out of the AFC North for sure. Yeah. So I, yeah, for wide receiver two, I have Amari, and wide receiver three, I have Pickens, and that's our that's our perfect. That's an unstoppable three. I'll tell you that. Yeah, that's wild. That's a crazy three. And you can start with tight end then. Uh, for tight end one, I have Mark Andrews. Shit. <laughs> he was hurt last year too, right? Yeah, he yeah. was a little banged up. Yeah, he he didn't finish the season, did he? He got the hip drop tackle band. Yeah. He broke his leg. Yeah, I was gonna say he had broke his leg like f fucked up. I mean, he's 28 years old. It's not like he's Yeah, because Isaiah 35. likely played the rest of the season. Yeah. And Isaiah likely was a dog and not. Yeah, there. he was a he was a dog. I don't think that breaking a leg is completely different from tearing like an ACL. So you can come back from a broken leg and be fine. Or you can lose your leg. Well, I'm going to go Njoku. You're going Njoku? 
I went only and, because he went to fuck off last year. Yeah. I the only reason I have Njoku at one is because he was Browns fan. healthy the whole year and he had better stats than Mark Andrews. Yeah, last he went year. crazy last so, year. But I think I have Mark Andrews at two, so I think that's our Yeah, and I have Njoku at two, so I think that's our one and two, right? Yeah. Those two. Yeah. Um until, you, want, you want me to start with the O line? Until yeah. next year. Until next year? Who yeah, Big who, Pat's gonna go Big crazy Pat? this year. Um O line. We haven't had an ample offense. Um, I'm up here for, you know, I'm going to go Browns just because I think that the Browns have the best O line in the division. Um, and a lot of rankings had their O line in the top five. So I'm going to go Browns, but I want to hear what you guys say. Mm. I am going off this rankings is hard. here too. This is hard. Every team has a lot of questions with it's their It's not line. the Steelers for sure. It's not the Ravens. It's not it's an, I it might be. They lost 3 of their starters. When? This year. In the off season? Yeah, they lost 3 of their starters on the line. So they still got to do that center. They still I'm, got Ronnie Stanley. I'm pulling it up for you. I'm trying yeah, to Yeah, everybody else is gone. <laughs> Fuck. So I didn't know that they lost all them. Yeah, so as of right now, Ronnie Stanley, Andrew Forhees, it's a crazy last name. Um, they have a good center, uh, yeah, uh, Tyler yeah. Lindenbaum. Yeah, he's a dog. Um, right guard right now, it's Daniel Filelli. Filelli? Don't know him. And uh, right tackle, Patrick Macari. I Patrick, th- what? Wait, the, the fullback? It's, what? Macari. Oh, oh I Macari. thought you said Ricard. No, 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 no Macari, Macari. <laughs> that would be crazy. They used They're to like, switch, to, to, switch to right tackle. tackle. Um, Say, so, yeah, fullback don't make me enough money. I got to switch to right tackle. <laughs> we should have we should have picked a fullback. I didn't even think about that. Um, well, we don't even fucking have one. You yeah, want me to, I mean, we do. You want me to list off the Browns offensive line? I'm, or who do you I have? don't need you to. You no, nah, we're cool. Just go ahead with the Browns. Yeah, I have good? the Browns O-line as well. I okay. love I, I didn't really know. I knew it was going to be between them and probably the Ravens. Um, I would have taken your guys' over the Ravens, to be honest. I did, yeah, I didn't know, I didn't that, know they that they lost that many people, but um, yeah, I would take ours over the Ravens now that you said that. But I did look at like rankings mm-hmm. and where kind of they stood after last season. And that's only had. because of what we did in the offseason. And I think there was a stat. I'm not going to have the exact numbers right, but those three that are going to start, they only have like three games total played out of those three players. So... Derek not a Henry. lot of film on him. Derrick Henry's not getting a thousand. <laughs> Wait, the three new ones? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not, not, yeah. So you can start with what is it next? D line. For D line, I have technically the second best edge rusher in the NFL, um, the Browns D line. But now. See, this is where it gets dicey. This is tricky. where it gets really tough because I'm, I made my Watts list. Line. I made my <laughs> list. Watts technically before a linebacker. Yeah. Um, what's his name? Just got carted off. Oh, Zedarius. Zedarius Smith. So, so that's what made Zedarius me change Smith, mine a little bit. I don't know. We don't know his injury what's yet. What's Trey Hendrickson technically? Is he an end or is he an outside linebacker? What's Sam Hubbard? Trey he- Hendrickson's an edge. He's an edge rusher. I know, but what's his like technical position? TJ like, Watt's I, also an edge rusher, but I'm, he's technically yeah, a linebacker. I love TJ I'm Watt. We run the I'm three four. four. Yeah, you run a three four. I'm still calling the T. I'm calling TJ still being on the defensive line okay, in this I'm going scenario. Steelers D line. Because, like you said, Miles Garrett and him play the same exact position. You watch the film. Guess what? They do, but TJ plays in coverage as well. Sometimes, right? Very rarely he'll yeah, drop. He plays in coverage way more than like Miles Garrett. Yeah. But I want to say the majority of the time he's doing exactly what Miles is doing. His yeah, hand absolutely. on the ground, he's on the end, he's rushing. You know, he does exactly what Miles Garrett does, but better. Okay. It's not what I was saying. <laughs> um, so who did you have, Jordan? Uh, Steelers. If we're okay. saying TJ's on the D line. Yeah, then it comes a little tricky with linebackers of Lake. Yeah, but go on. Who do you got, Matt? Uh, I have, if we're putting that. I had Steelers linebackers, but I guess I'll That's, go Steelers D line. Steelers linebackers and Browns D line. Well, I don't know. How do you guys want to do it? Do you want to do it has like how is it labeled? Like That's, TJ is a linebacker. That's how I looked at it. Be I don't know. I mean, I guess if you move TJ, if you swap TJ, like if you put him on the same team, dude, our, like TJ our, Watt's going to go on the opposite our side. Our defense of is yeah. so he's not going to be the linebacker behind him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like 
you know what sometimes I mean? we run dude there's times that we run with cam hayward in the middle and tj on one side and alex smith alex highsmith on the other side and there's nobody else down i'm calling that's what i'm saying you know what I'm, I'm saying, saying that's like a there's, defensive line yeah, those are both linebackers technically yeah but we but, don't really use like cam hayward is i believe technically an end there's like other his, times where it's his position cam hayward's down right keanu down. benton's down and then there's two outside rushers but if we're counting TJ Watt as, because of our defense, a lineman. What do you guys want to count him as? All right, yeah, let's do that. Steelers, D-line then. Yeah. Okay. Um, what did you have? You, I'm sure you had the Browns D-line. Well, actually, the way I did it was Steelers slash Browns. So I had you guys first just because of Zedaria Smith, and I'm, I was considering TJ being a defensive lineman. Um, so I'm going to go Steelers here. Um, now this is where it comes with linebackers. Yeah, now a little different. You have to yeah. take TJ Watt out of that scenario. So you got Patrick Queen and fucking who? Your rookie Cole Holcomb, Cole Holcomb Peyton Wilson. Okay. Um, so I had Ravens Steelers there. Um, yeah, because Ravens still got uh, Roquan, Roquan, yeah, Smith, and he's a fucking dog. Um. So is Patrick Queen, though. A lot of people said, I don't know. I, I heard this. I that, already know what you're about to say. That Patrick Queen. Should I tell it, I tell it for, before you tell it? Say it. That Roquan Smith had to tell Patrick Queen where to go all the time? So not only that, but that Patrick Queen, um, he elevated his game because of the system and who he was around on the Ravens defense. That's perfect. The Steelers do the same thing. Yeah, I agree, because they have... Fucking, you would probably say a better defense than the Ravens almost in certain positions for sure. Um, linebackers, I'm cool with either going Ravens or Steelers. Cole, dude, shout Cole out to Holcomb, JOK. He's, I forgot he's about dog. Cole Holcomb. He don't even, he's not even going to start. He's hurt. I mean, Elaine and Roberts is going to start. Yeah. And Cole Holcomb has been a little eh. he was hurt. Injury. Yeah. So, yeah. dude, you got. I Did forgot go you guys Ravens got there? the. I forgot you guys got the goat. Who? JOK. Devin Bush. Devin Bush. Oh, bro, he is starting on the depth chart. He's been going off and training. Um, camp. So I was looking at this page. They have <laughs> the, they have the Bengals linebackers number one. Do they? Jermaine, so, Jermaine Pratt and Logan Wilson. Logan Wilson's good. Jermaine Pratt is good too. He's old, but he's good. So I see now this one. But I like, don't. What's their What's their depth? It doesn't really matter. To me, when it comes to to linebackers, because I mean, even with the Browns, you got JOK, Jordan Hicks, and I mean, you could say Devin Bush. Um, originally, we Devin didn't have Bush a better a starter. We had better linebackers last year. The Ravens, you got Roquan Smith and Trenton Simpson. Who the hell is that guy? <laughs> you tell me. Um, so you want to go Bengals here? I mean, I don't think we selected Bengals for anything besides Jamar Chase. I'm going Bengals. Out of pity, we're going to give Bengals the, the nod. I just think they have two. I mean, I'm still going Steelers. They have two, the deciding vote. two big name, like not big name, but they hit two notable guys. Yeah. Everybody else is like one really good guy and one guy that is like, ah. I'll go Bengals. Is it on me? I'll go, I'll go Bengals. So we'll have our, uh, our linebackers, the Bengals. So Jordan, you can start with your, your beautiful DBs. I know who you want to choose. The Bungles. It's the greatest DB room ever. Uh, the DBs, I took the Bengals. This motherfucker. Hell no. <laughs> no, I took the Ravens. This mo I, that, I'm not as bad as that one, okay. DBs is so trash, bro. It's tough because We should have picked corners and safeties. I If we did that, then we would have had to switch up the, the defensive ends and D tackles inside, you know, inside and outside linebackers and things like that, too. No, because linebackers are a core. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no. DBs but like, and safeties almost play different positions. Like the DBs are up, the safeties are back. Some of them blitz. It's kind of the same with outside and inside linebackers. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. So that's why I was that like, sucks. you would have to switch it a little bit. Because um, I mean, if we're gonna do it that way, you would go safety Steelers, and I think you'd go corners Browns. Yeah, in my Probably, opinion. Yeah. yeah, that's what I would do. Um, but. As a whole, who do you have? <laughs> you don't want to say it. <laughs> this motherfucker's a hater. <laughs> he hates, he's a hater. I hate this whole list. I would love to just put Steelers everywhere. 
I hate having to pick any of the teams that are rivals. Is someone calling you? Who's calling you? Are those are your sunglasses ringing, brother. God damn. Those are your sunglasses ringing? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. They motherfuckers with Bluetooth. You can talk through them. They are Bluetooth. How much are they? They are Bluetooth sunglasses. You get them from the TikTok shop? They they came straight from the TikTok shop. If you need to order them, link is in the bio. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. What the fuck? Um, um, they like six bucks. All right, Matt, who do you got? Yeah, they were like six bucks. Um, <sighs> get it over with. Rip the band-aid off. Steelers. Bro. What? <laughs> dude, you got Joey right, Porter. Derek. Go ahead. Minka. Are you want to you want to go through then? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Do you have the you want to bring up you said Ravens, but do you want to bring up the Steelers depth chart? Sure. Okay. Um for the Browns, you got Denzel Ward. You got Greg Newsom. Greg Newsom. You got Martin Emerson. Those three right there. That's, I mean, we had the best. That's why it should have been broken down. That was your corners are sweet. We had the best secondary in the NFL last year. Um, and then I think our safeties aren't a very hard knock between anyone in the AFC North because I think Grant Delbin and Juan Thornhill are very serviceable, above serviceable players. Of course, I don't think they're Grant Delbin's not to the caliber of Minka or Kyle Hamilton yet. I don't think, but. He's not far much you under don't those think two. Think or you know? I know, but he's not under them that far from them. I think that Minka's secondary the is the best way safety in the league. I think the gap from Minka. Like that, actually. I think the gap yeah. from Minka to Grant Delpit is bigger than the gap from Denzel to Joey Porter. Yeah, but that's just one corner. I know. Who's, I'm who's just corner saying. two, and who's who's your nickel? Well, uh, Deshaun Dante Jackson. Dante Jackson is who's corner two. Our nickel will probably Cam be Sutton, Cam Sutton baby. when he's back from the suspension. Goat. He's going to get suspended um, again. <laughs> up until he's back from suspension, would it be Anthony? You can go Cam Sutton. When, how long is his suspension? Six, six weeks from the start of week six, one. Six games, games yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, would it um, be Corey Trice? Would it be uh, yeah, I don't know what Corey Trice is going to do. Supposedly Anthony he was Everett. really good. Oh, Anthony Everett will probably start. That's the dude from the Ravens. I'm not going to lie. You guys can overrule um, me because there's two, you and one of me. But I, I'm I not trying the, to do that. I think the Browns. And then in the safety the room, we one. got Minka, Deshaun Elliott, and Kazee off the bench. Yeah, Deshaun Elliott. I didn't even give you a bench. I didn't give, give you a bench starters. either. We don't need a bench. He said the bench. Uh, he, he's tripping. <laughs> I'm just throwing out. He was just throwing out. Hey, who did Deshaun Elliott hit last year that was about to score? When he was playing for the uh, Eagles? Oh, for the Panthers. For th um, Dude was about to cross the goal line and he, wasn't, he was on the Panthers, right? Rocked him. He was remember. a part of the Deontay trade, wasn't he? No. No? No. Who am I thinking? Oh, that's Dante Jackson. That's Dante Jackson. All right. Deshaun All right, Elliott. let's pick uh, oh, Brown's corners and uh, Steelers safety. Yep. Sounds good to me. If you have to do a hole, who are you choosing? I can't. You have to. I already did. Steelers. You're saying Steelers? You're saying Steelers? Yep, we're overruling. All it. right, put it on me. They're overruling me. I think it's Browns, but for the graphic and their sake, I guess it's Steelers have the best secondary in the AFC North. Best safeties. Hey, you guys said it as a whole. Um, At least the far underneath gets cooked. We got Minka back there to help. <laughs> so is it on me? Yeah. So that's our AFC North team. Tell us who we got wrong. Tell us who we got right and suck my meat. And suck your meat? Oh, sorry. That wasn't supposed to be part of it. <laughs>